Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch and today I'm going to show you how to make a baseball cap using hair in v -Roid. Uh So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a procedural group. Uh, today our baseball cap is going to be green. You can make it whatever color you want. Make it multiple colors if you want. But I want green. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it like um, a straight I'm also going to lower the height, it does not matter, and many hair and, and to roll it around. Now I'm going to make, uh, shorten the length a little bit. Because we're just looking to do the uh, cap itself. You can also lower the offset a bit. And then just kind of like tuck in a little bit to where we can go without clipping through the body. We start clipping through, we've gone too far. And you can use this to make almost any type of hat you want. Uh, I do recommend making sure your shading is off. Because uh, you don't want hair shading in this. So if you added, uh, say like a highlight, you'll start seeing like hair highlights on here. And this, you don't want that. Eat that down as far as it'll go. Now we're going to want to do a freehand group. I clicked on the base hair to click the freehand group just so I have it as a default. Shrink the height. I'm going to turn on the mirroring because it'll just make it a little easier when setting this up. And I'm going to just pull these points. Whoops. Uh, down here towards where I want the brim of the hat. And if you want to make like a sun hat, you can pretty much do the same as I did in the witch's hat with the brim. And then this top. All right. This slide, but that's okay doesn't really matter. All right now we're going to take our brush. We're going to make sure the mirroring is off because we do not need the mirroring on. Uh, I want the width and I want a, a sharp point on both sides. I'm going to make this as symmetrical as possible. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start over here and make a stroke up, over, and back in. And then I just kind of adjust it to where I want this room to be. If I want it a little thicker, I can just go in, uh, adjust the curve to the shape I want. Let's make this uh, a darker, just so we can see it. And I'm just pulling the points down a little bit. I think I want to make it so this goes all the way to the side here, and this goes all the way to the side here. So it's almost where the ear is. Just some fine adjustments using the control points, kind of like that. And then also one of the things I'd like to do, oops, I didn't mean to do that, is I'm going to add a uh, procedural group. Dark. I'm going to pull it up to the top. That'll do. I'm going to shrink the length down, very small, interval all the way around, many, many hairs. Adjust the, the thickness to be about that. That. 
actually think I want to make this a little smaller, which I can do by grabbing the endpoints and just kind of pulling them in a little bit. Thicker, and I'm going to put it into a hat a little bit. There. And there we go. A little plug on top. And like that. That's pretty much how we do uh, a baseball cap. Like that. And if you really want, you can um, adjust some of the colors and even uh, give it a pattern. Bam! And now we have a baseball cap. Uh, for this, I wouldn't add any sort of bones to it. I would just leave it just like this. Uh, if this video has helped you out, please give it a like. If there is anything else you'd like to see from me, please uh, let me know down in the comments below, along with any questions you might have, and I hope to see you in my next uh, video. Bye!